varmt den här sommaren. Ja, men alltså nu så har du typ vänt om helt. Ja, eller hur? Det har ju blivit iskallt från 20 till minus 5. Oh, oh they're coming. Wait, they're coming. Oh, do you have seen this amazing goal from yesterday? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I saw it too. Amazing. It was so good, yeah. I want to score it. Yeah, yeah. So amazing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's Oh, hi, Hi. Hi. Oh. Hi, Oliver. Hi, Spain. Oh, Anna, nice to meet you. Oh. Oh, oh Oliver. Oh, hey, France. Hey, hello. Hi, hey. France. <laughs> Germany. <laughs> hi, hello. Ellen. Hi, Oliver. Hello, Germany. <laughs> hi. Hi, thank you for tuning in again. Uh, welcome to our show, this time in Arvika, Sweden. My name is Oliver. And I am Ellen. Today our topic is relationships. Relaciones. Relaciones. Relations. Beziehungen. Relations. Relaciones. 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 Relationships. So in our last episode, we were wondering how we can communicate with each other and how relationships can be successful. Do you have an idea, Sweden? Well, in my opinion, you need three things to get a successful relationship. It's teamwork, friends, and joy. But hey, I can show a video so you understand what I mean. Do you want to see? Yeah. 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 Come here, look. You spend so many days in this place uh, with each other, so you really get to know each other better than you do during the school year because then you all have different classes and you uh, have different uh, breaks, so you don't really talk as much as you do when you're here. So you get, really get to know each other and we become real close. We have really great teamwork, I think. It's a really good opportunity to meet new people and yeah, to get new friends. The teamwork in this group is very good, I think. Uh, we have a good conversation in real life and on social medias in Messenger. We can uh, get ourselves information from the leader and uh, we can put information to each other. Yes, because it's fun to do this together and to get the opportunity to play theatre and sing and dance and do stuff that isn't usual to do in school. Yes, well it's good for friendships because you speak to people you normally don't speak to. It feels great to me to be a part of such a like big project. I've only been in tiny musicals like when I was five or something. Yeah, of course it does. I mean, the musical itself brings joy um, to the uh, uh, public and to the uh, actors. Anyone can actually play any role in this because there's no thing that tells you that you can do this or that. It's just that you can use your imagination. Teamwork is very important for relationships, but I think they can also be more than that. Um, sometimes we fight, but it can also be fun to compete with each other. And in the end, we are very proud that love has no borders and that it's possible nowadays that you love however, whoever you want to love. So um, I can show you this in my video.
The clapping sound is really good. Yeah, isn't it this cup song? Oh yes, it is. Uh, do you want to learn it? Yeah, let's yeah, try it. Yeah. Show. Yeah, it's true. It's like in a school when a teacher kind of punishes you for being loud. Yeah, oh, we all know that. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can show you a similar situation in my video. Hola, mira que vos te encontrado de mí de pequeño. Ya mis tíos, teníamos ahí todos los años y nos llevamos súper bien, tío. Ahora ya vamos con gente de otras edades y bueno, pues nos reunimos en los cuartos. ¿Cuartos? ¿Qué es eso? Son como unas bajeras o habitaciones que alquilamos por meses. Venga, adiós. ¿Quién era, eh, Pillina? Mira, adiós. ¿Te deberías poner en casa? No, no lo sabe. Como para decírselo. Qué pesa. ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? Tío, que estuve ahí un mes con ella, un mes y medio, pero acabamos súper mal. ¿Tú has sido medio? Yo sí, yo hace poco, pero lo dejamos. Después de tres meses, una diferencia de edad, pero bueno, se lo hizo a mis padres. Yo llevo año y medio. Sí, entró a casa. Hola, Nadine. Hola. Hola. Nada, aquí repasamos. ¿Te hizo tres exámenes? Sí, sí, sí. Baja el volumen que estamos en una biblioteca. Vale, vale, perfecto. No se nota la diferencia de profesores. Ana Belén es mucho más simpática que Ya ves, ahí se pone seria, se pone seria, pero. Tengo que ir a recoger a mi hermana al colegio. Tienen eh, dos hijos, ¿no? Pues parejo. Sí, aquí en Tintonigo es lo más habitual que tengan más o menos dos hijos. Y bueno, hay casos excepcionales, pero suele ser malo. Suelen estar formados por eh, parejas que vienen de otros pueblos cercanos, como eh, Colería y Citero. Sí, suele ser así. A ver, lo normal es que sean del mismo pueblo o ciudad, pero hay parejas de distintos pueblos o ciudades. Ah, para ir a comprar, si tengo comida familiar. Bueno, no te preocupes, ya te daré un poquito de eso, sí. Hombre, porque aquí en Centro de Nuevos Costumbres, sin comer todos juntos, sin nada. Sí. ¡Uy! 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 ¡Uy!
and why is there suddenly so much food on the table? But it's okay because I am so hungry. It's a common Swedish tradition when you are with friends. You sit down and eat together. We have a special word for it. It's called fika. Fika? Oh, fika. No, not yet. <laughs> so, let's end our talk show for today. We have learned a lot about relationships within Europe and each other. Our next show will have a closer look at the school systems. We are sure that this will be very interesting as well. But now, let's have our fika together. Spain, you can start. Thank you. Stay fresh and tune in.